what is converse of pythagoras theorem and how we can prove that theorem that we will see in this video hello friends my name is sunil kumar jadav welcome back to my channel here in this video we are going to see one important theorem of standard 10 mathematics that is converse of pythagoras theorem while we are talking about converse statement in standard 9 you have already learn about the converse statement in geometry if p then q kind of conditional statements are there when we interchange the position of p and q the the statement becomes converse statement if q is equal to, uh, if p then q the converse of this statement will be if q then p then here this is the converse of the pythagoras theorem this theorem would ask in the exam in different way that is write the statement of converse of pythagoras theorem and prove it sometime they are changing the statement that is write the statement of pythagoras theorem and prove converse of pythagoras theorem in that case students are mostly done mistakes because they read statement of pythagoras theorem and then they have prove the pythagoras theorem but they have been asked to prove the converse of pythagoras theorem so while you are answering any question in the examination at that time you need to be careful to read the question and understand the question and then only try to write the answer here in this session we are going to learn about converse of pythagoras theorem first of all let us see what is the converse statement of the pythagoras theorem in triangle if square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides then angle opposite to first side is right angle this is what the statement of the pythag of the converse of the pythagoras theorem we know the statement of pythagoras theorem in which it is given that in right angle triangle square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of both the side where the right angle triangle is given and we need to prove that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of two side here it is converse means in triangle if the square of one side is equal to the sum of the square of other two side then such triangle is considered as the right angle triangle this is what we wanted to prove in exam when they are asking about to write the statement of the converse of pythagoras theorem you must write the statement it will it will of the one mark so be careful to write it normally this theorem is asked in different boards in a different different marks in cbsc it is asked in five marks while in state boards it is asked in four marks so let us begin with the theorem theorem can be asked in this way also in triangle abc ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square then triangle abc is a right angle triangle where angle b is equal to 90 here they can give the change in the name of the triangle let us try to understand this statement along with this theorem in triangle we have taken triangle abc if square of one side is equal to the sum of the square of other two side square of one side that is ac square is equal to sum of the square of other two side ab square plus bc square then angle opposite to the first side this is first side that is ac so the angle opposite to that would be angle b angle opposite to the first side is a right angle so angle b is equal to 90 if angle b is a 90 then we know that such triangle is a right angle triangle let us begin the proof of this theorem while we are writing the proof of the theorem you know we need to write the data to prove and proof we know that theorem has the three part data data means what what is given that is called data to prove means whatever we want to prove that we will write it in the to prove section and then we will see the proof so let us begin with the data data means whatever it is given what is given here we had given triangle abc in which ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so we will write it in data in triangle abc ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square is given this is what we call as a data which is given what we want to prove triangle abc is a right angle triangle and uh, the angle opposite to this side ac is a right angle that means we want to prove angle b is a right angle so we'll write it to prove 
a triangle abc is a right angle triangle where which angle we want to prove if ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square then angle b is equal to 90 degree this is what to prove let us begin with the proof you know that while we are starting with the proof we need to draw the figure so first of all what is given and what we want to construct that both the figures we will draw first of all the triangle abc is given where ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square this is the statement which is given in the theorem and we want to prove that triangle abc is a right angle triangle where angle b is a right angle we want to make it this angle b is a right angle but we don't know what is the measure of this angle so let us begin now first of all we will construct one of the triangle which is of our required measure i will construct triangle pqr construct triangle pqr in which it is of our required measure triangle so i will take angle q is equal to 90 angle q is equal to 90 this is what i have taken now another thing that i will take it as this is a given triangle and we wanted to construct another triangle in such a way that angle q is 90 along with that this measure of ab let us see this this measure AB would be the measure of PQ. So I'll keep over here and then I'll draw. You can see this is AB and here this one. So here I'll put the point P. So I can say that AB is equal to PQ because whatever the measure of AB, the same measure I have taken for this PQ. So I can say AB is equal to PQ. Similar way, I'll take the same measure of BC. I'll take the measure of BC here. And the same measure, I'll keep it on the Q and I'll draw the arc. And there I will put point R. So I can say that BC has the same measure of QR. So I can say that is BC is equal to QR. Such triangle we have constructed in which angle Q is equal to 90, AB has equal measure of PQ and BC has the equal measure of QR. And then we have connected both this point to form this triangle PQR. So we have constructed triangle PQR in which angle Q is equal to 90, AB has the measure which is equal to PQ and BC has the measure which is equal to QR. This is what we have constructed. Now let us look about this triangle PQR. Then you can see as we have constructed this triangle PQR in which angle Q is 90 degree. It means this triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. So we can write it triangle PQR is right angle triangle. If it is right angle triangle we can apply Pythagoras theorem on this. So let us apply the Pythagoras theorem. As per the Pythagoras theorem, we know that square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of both the side forming right angle. So we should write it, the hypotenuse is PR. So I can write it, that is PR square is equal to this one, that is PQ square plus QR square. How is it? I will write it, Pythagoras theorem as per the Pythagoras theorem I have written this now we can write the same thing in other way or we can write it the same thing that is PR square is equal to now you can see here that is AB is equal to PQ so instead of this PQ I can put this value AB so it is PQ square so I can write it that is AB square Plus here you can see it is QR which is equal to BC. So instead of this QR I can put the measure BC because both have the same measure. So QR is equal to BC. So QR square is equal to BC square. How do we write it? This is by construction.
we have constructed in the similar way so i have written it on the place of pq pq is equal to ab so i put ab and on the place of qr i have kept it bc because qr is equal to bc so i can write it pr square is equal to ab square plus bc square because pr square is equal to pq square plus qr square where pq is equal to ab and qr is equal to bc hence pr square is equal to ab square plus bc square let me give this is equation number 1 i put this as equation number 1 but it is different than the data you can see what is given in the data in the data it is given that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square and what we have proved we have proved that P pr square is equal to ab square plus bc square hence we will write it what is given in the data but we can see but that is ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square why is it so as it is given in data that is given in the data let me say this as equation number 2 we have written pr square is equal to ab square plus bc square bc square but in the data it is given ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square if you will see equation number 1 and 2 then you can see pr square is equal to this and ac square is also equal to the same so if both this in both this equation the right hand right hand sides are equal so we can compare the left hand left hand side also from equation 1 and 2 i can write it from equation 1 and 2 if we will compare the right hand right hand sides are equal so we can compare left hand left hand side that is pr square is equal to ac square if the square of both of these are equal then if we will take the square root at the both side that is also equal that is pr is equal to ac let me give this is equation number 3 so what we have proved that is pr is equal to ac this is what we have proved now let's try to compare both this particular triangle and let us try to see about the congruence of the triangle as we have constructed ab is equal to pq bc is equal to qr and ultimately here we have proved that pr is equal to ac this is pr is equal to ac this is what we have proved in number 3 so i will write it about the both the triangle that in triangle abc and triangle pqr let us try to see the congruence of both this triangle abc and pqr then you can see that ab is equal to pq i'll write it ab is equal to pq how is it so it is by construction in the similar way this bc is equal to qr bc is equal to qr it is also same by construction you can see here it is already there as we have constructed this triangle in which ab is equal to pq and bc is equal to qr ab is equal to pq bc is equal to qr the same thing i have written here that is ab is equal to pq and bc is equal to qr this is by the construction and as per equation number 3 what we have proved in equation 3 that is ac is equal to pr how is it so it is proved in equation number 3 you can see here that is pr is equal to ac hence ac is equal to pr this is what we have proved in equation number 3 so i have written it that ac is equal to pr this is proved in equation number 3 if you will see here then ab is equal to pq here you in the figure you can see ab is equal to pq bc is equal to qr as well as this ac is equal to pr this is what i have written here you can see that ab is equal to pq bc is equal to qr and ac is equal to pr so i can say that side 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 this is what side 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 
congruence we can take it you have already learned about the congruence of triangle in standard 9 this is a condition sss so we can say that sss by sss congruence s s s s s s congruence we can say that triangle a b c is congruent to triangle p q r for which congruence that congruence you have to remember a b p q so i can write it a b and p q b c q r so b c q r a c p r a c p r for this congruence both these triangles are considered as the congruent triangle by sss congruence we can say triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr if it is such that then congruent part of the congruent triangle that we know cpct by that the all the side ab pq are equal bc qr are equal ac and pr are equal so the congruence so, so we can say that the corresponding angles are also congruent so by that i can say angle a is equal to p angle b is equal to q and angle c is equal to r what we want we want angle b so i can write it here that angle b is equal to angle q b is equal to q so angle b is equal to angle q how is it so cpct congruent part of the congruent triangle as these triangles are congruent so these angles are the part of the triangle so congruent part of the congruent triangle so here we have proved that angle b is equal to angle q and 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 here we have taken in construction that angle q is equal to 90 you can see that we have already constructed angle q is equal to 90 so i will write it angle q is equal to 90 by construction if angle b is equal to 90 and angle b is equal to q q is equal to 90 and b is equal to q therefore i can say that angle b is also equal to 90 this is what we wanted to prove that we have proved that angle b is a 90 in triangle ABC, if angle B is a 90, then we can say that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. This is how you can prove the converse of Pythagoras theorem. If you like this, then click on the like button and share with your friends so your friends can also get the full marks. Prepare always the theorem with concept so here suppose they will give you the change of the triangle if you understood the concept you can solve it very easily don't mug up if you have mug up if you have to do the rote memorization in that case if the triangle would have been changed you will be in the big trouble and you cannot solve it so always it is my suggestion that whenever you are preparing the theorem prepare concept wise and you will easily get four to five marks share with your friends so they can also take the advantage of it and they can also get the full marks by just your one sharing they will always remember by your one sharing they have get five marks easily thank you so much